Hi Taurus, welcome to your February monthly reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot and I'll clarify that reading with another deck and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. All right, let's see your current energy for February. So it stays focused. <laughs> All right. Current energy. Taurus. Ooh, three of swords. What's going on with my earth signs? You're feeling heartbroken. You're feeling a little bit lost, I'm feeling. Let's clarify this. Three of swords. Put this on there for you. Whew. Okay. Clarify. Three of swords for Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. So you could be stressing about a new nest. You're planning and taking steps to possibly have a new home or a new business. You're trying to create more wealth and coins for yourself. And you could be putting a lot of your heart and your effort into it. And something happened that caused some heartbreak within this process. So let's see the past or outside influences. Exactly, three of pentacles. It had to do with the work situation, with this coins, earth, earth energy that you're working with here. All right, let's clarify the three of pentacles, three of swords for Taurus. Oh wow, ten of cups. So I'm feeling that for some of you, you had to end a romantic connection. You had to walk away emotionally from something because of the cups and the ten. And this was really emotional for you and caused you to have this heartbreak moment and could still be feeling that right now. So the four of wands, blocks and lessons. I'm going to pull one more because I'm feeling like there's more to that story. Oh, wow. And the nine of cups fell out reversed. Okay. I was picking up on that because the nine of cups reversed with the ten over here with this marriage and connection with the four of wands you are feeling the nine of cups like you thought it was your wish fulfillment but actually you were unfulfilled and unsatisfied and felt like it possibly was the wrong decision to come together in this commitment with this person because now you're feeling so heartbroken it could have been a business as well if it wasn't a romantic connection it was just an emotional connection. And that was the lesson to see that maybe this was somebody else's dream or somebody else's vision. And you have to focus on your own and turn this nine of cups around for yourself. All right, let's see how they are feeling about you. This is a love reading. Your person or situation. Okay, balance. So they're seeing the balance happen within you, or you could be seeing that within them. But ending the cycle, it's about the Ten of Cups. This is going to bring balance into your life. And exactly, the Knight of Swords. So walking away and moving away from this Ten of Cups and from anything that caused you this heartbreak from the past, whether it was work with the Three of Pentacles or emotional or both, you're moving forward with this air energy and I like that the three is moving up to the night and I feel like this energy is very quickly, it's moving this way very quickly, really nicely. And the eight of swords, so intentions moving forward, knowing that any limitations are in your own mind, you can break free at any moment. You can see the strings are held really lightly, but it will be a little challenging. It's above the three of swords, so you might feel yourself getting sucked back into that old mentality or your old way of thinking or just healing. Really just going through that waves of healing, the waves of grief. And just focusing on grounding yourself here with the Seven of Pentacles. And possibly doing some inner child work with the Six of Cups or connecting with your friends from the past. Maybe you weren't really putting your friends first because of this relationship here and now it's time to reconnect with those friends. That's part of this vibe too. Four of Wands coming together 
in celebration with your friends and family. Oh wow, Six of Wands, I love this. So message from the universe moving forward, knowing that you will be successful in whatever you put your focus and passion into. And the Empress, yes. And this will bring you abundance. It will make you feel this Empress energy. You'll be able to birth a lot of new ideas and feel also really serene and content. And you could also be helping the world in the process as you become successful within your fire with the Six of Wands there, which I love. This is a really good reading. All right, let's clarify with the Sun and Moon Tarot, a couple of cards. For Taurus, my Earth signs, Princess of Cups, and one more with the Three of Wands. Okay. So you're waiting for your new opportunities to come in with the Three of Wands there. This is my card of just being patient as this fire is building and then with the princess of cups it's at beginning stages of this new emotional journey because you did end one here with the 10 so now you're moving up into the princess vibes but i do like it possibly surrounding yourself by water by animals also spending time in the moonlight i'm feeling that for you connecting to your fire you can see he or she is throwing fire there so connecting to your fire inner fire connecting to the sun i'm feeling that too but i do like the clarification the three and the three so moving away from this three of pentacles this work vibe or career opportunity that actually caused you this heartbreak, moving away towards your own three of wands, your own fire, which is going to bring you that success here with the six of wands. I'm feeling that really full on for you. Okay, number 21, guide. The illuminated path is your oracle card for February. So that is a beautiful card. You can see she's putting her energy into the earth and look how this matches exactly what he's doing so you could be coming together with your friends or it could be a new relationship as well in the future or this could just be you and you're going to put your love and your vibes into the earth into something new and into something that will bring you abundance not somebody well it could be somebody else but the focus is going to be more on your self-abundance so that you can build up your own vortex and then you can go back and start helping others again because right now your nine of cups is in reverse so i'm feeling like you don't have all of the power and all of the balance that you need just yet in order to give back fully you're still working on the balance after this ten of cups and healing your heart space so don't feel like it's selfish to heal yourself. Okay, number five, take the lead. Final message for Taurus. So taking the lead in this new adventure, whatever that is for you. Number five is also the fifth chakra. So you might have to have that conversation, taking the lead possibly within new business or within having the hard conversation to heal whatever happened in the past as well i'm feeling okay taurus i think i'll leave it there hope you found some clarity from this reading enjoy february i'll see you for the mid-monthlies and into march bye for now